Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 2! Let's head on to the Coliseum and teach August a lesson for playing with our lives. But before we do that, let's head on over here to show off something that I set up last time. If you open the door to Lynn's locker room and you did not enter it, you can do so now. Not that there's really any reason to do that. There's nothing here. You can't even open the chest there, so... Yeah, that's kind of pointless, but, well, I figured I'd show it off since one of you pointed it out to me, and I didn't know that before, so thanks a lot, viewers. Oh, yeah, we kind of already knew that. Oh, okay. My lips are sealed. I don't know about the floor, though. You better watch yourself. Holy cow, it'll kick your ass. No, no, that's another game, viewers. Is that your hair or a sombrero you're wearing? I like sombreros. I mean, not that I personally wear one, but... I like the style. Oh. Nuts. Whoa! How many gods do we have in this game, anyhow? Whoa! Well, yeah, I... I I think we kind of already knew that. Rand seemed to be oblivious, but otherwise. Well, well, we have our god too. Because in Breath of Fire, when every day is a struggle for survival, you need all the gods you can get. For boss time against Argus. Okay, well, yeah. First things first. Let's just go all out in the first round here. And if you successfully move Lynn out of the way here, well, she would be in your party for this part. So, yeah, we get a little extra damage out of her. I prefer to stay in the normal formation because that'll give Lynn just enough defense to not be one shot by him unless he's charging up for an attack already, in which case, yeah, if he really wants to kill her, there's not much you can do about it. The thing with Lynn is that she's a glass cannon. I consider her to be like a tier 2 character. I mean, she's really fast and really powerful, but she has no durability at all. <laughs> so I use her fairly regularly, but I don't use her in my final party. Just because, yeah, she doesn't have the durability. And, yeah, we might as well go all out. Or not all out, but... Now, the thing is with this boss is that... I almost said Ryu, but no. Uh, Bunyan and Lin are going to be the two that are faster than Argus. Good thing I healed him. So, yeah, if you are in danger of dying, you want Ryu or maybe Lin to heal up there. Rand is just too slow. Unlike the first game, healing spells do not have priority in this game. So it all depends on your Vigor stat, which is derived from your Agility stat minus the weight of your body armor only, not the other equipment slots like the first game also. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, why don't you heal yourself there? I'll have Rand... Yeah, Rand, why don't you heal yourself too? Just to kind of top off your HP. Basically, if I'm going to be using Rand for healing here, I only want him to top off someone's HP who isn't in immediate danger of dying. So, like, I could have him heal Bunyan now because it's pretty unlikely that Argus could one-shot him there. So, I think we'll be fine with that. Let's see, Lin has the taunt ability, but it's basically useless. I mean, it, I think it causes enemies to attack her, but why would you want to do that when she's so brittle? I mean, it's just... Okay. I mean, maybe if she was, like, an evasion tank, that would have been cool, but no. So, yeah, I don't like using that ability for... I pretty much use her for her speed in killing annoying enemies before they can annoy me. 
Rand, I consider to be a tier 3 character. Hey, I'm right. But yeah, I consider him to be a tier 3 character. I try to avoid using him as much as possible because he's just so slow. So what's the point of having healing magic if you're that slow? It just doesn't make sense to me. Now, there is a mandatory fight, solo fight, with Rand way later in the game. So you are going to have to use him every now and then just to be, for him to be able to survive eventually. Yeah, what's going on here? Ah. Well, we just kicked your ass. We can kick his ass, too. And, of course, like all good bosses in JRPGs, they have to explode. Absolutely. Whoa. Holy cow. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about it. It's probably just the one guy. We solved all our problems, and, well, I didn't find the thief. Well, unless you got bat wings, you're not the one I'm looking for. So, yeah, where did you come from anyway? Oh. Well, sure, I could use more party members. Oh, well, not really fixing the roof. Replacing it. It does not exist. Oh, hey, all right. Sounds like a plan. Oh, yeah, sure, why not? Oh, what do you mean? Well, she's pulling more weight than you are. Yeah, Rand's not even that strong either. He's just, man, not really that good. <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. But, all right. So now that we got all three of them... And the enemies outside are not really going to be much of a threat to us. Let's see. Let's go to scatter formation now. We should be okay there. And, yeah, we might as well heal up, though I'm not going to rest up. We don't need to worry about that. But all right. So we're done with our business here. Didn't find who we were looking for at all. But we're done now. Oh, right, I already talked to you. Okay, I am not going to buy anything for Rand right now, but what I do want to do is get back to uh, Mount Futabi there relatively quickly. So now that we've got Rand in our party, his special ability on the map is he puts on the Goron mask and he rolls around. And as long as you're rolling around like this... Ah, oh, nuts. Game? Yeah, when you're rolling around like that, you won't run into random battles. Unfortunately, if you're like me and you don't have sharp reflexes, you'll run into a wall or something. And, oh, we got hunting there, too. But yeah, if you run into a wall, then you probably get in a random battle. Now, with Lynn in our party, we can hunt again. She's got... Oh. Okay, there's no animals here. But anyway, with her, you press the Y button, you can use your bow staff to hit enemies. It's a little stronger than it was for her bow's attack, but you also don't have as much range. Let me try something here. Hmm. Someone was saying something like, if you hold down the Y button and then, like, turn or something, you can... Kind of like a Lufia 2 thing where you can turn without moving. Like moving forward or left or whatever, but hmm, I don't seem to be able to get that to work. There must be something more to it that I don't understand. But anyway, okay, yeah, just hit the L or R buttons and then we can get going. And hopefully not run into any more trees. So, oh, this is a tough turn to make. 
Okay, let's try that one again. Uh, usually I'm bad at this, but not this bad. Okay, we made it. I'll meet you on the other side then, viewers. Alright, we're back. Yeah, unfortunately with Rand's rolling ability, I don't think you can stop without running into something and triggering, or potentially triggering, a random battle. So you gotta run into something to stop. Fortunately, I did not get another random battle. Hey, okay, how's it going? Oh, um, yeah, I went through, well, a dungeon and a half, I guess. Well, we got a cat girl, and I don't know what Rand is. He kind of looks like, if you see his uh, avatar in the menu there, he has like a horse head or something. Huh? Oh! Well, that was just pillow talk. No. Nah. No, nah, just kidding. So, am I going to get my name back? My real name, I mean? Well, sorry, we didn't find anything useful for you, Bosh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, all right. But you're still going to be here anyway, Bosh. Got a lot of fixing to do. Why is that? You don't like cats? What do you mean? Oh. Okay. Yeah, just don't put her in charge of maintenance. You'd be better setting this place on fire and calling it a day. Oh. Yeah, yeah, but we got Rand, so that'll be fine. Why don't you get out of here? Now. Dude. What does that even mean? No, no, no! Oh, yeah, probably. Yeah, we, well, we could use the muscle. She's even faster than Ryu. Oh, yeah, I suppose so. Yeah! Ah, oh, well, we've already been trying to look into that. Oh! Well, yeah, you are pretty fast there. Do they say anything else once we're done here? Oh, yeah. We were kind of there before. I thought they left, though. Busy, busy bumblebees. Oh, cool. Sounds like a plan. You got a name? Oh, <laughs> I forgot he actually suggested a name there. But we already tried looking back there. Okay, well, then I guess all we gotta do is go back to New Haven and see if we can find any more of any of those uh, wind ladies that were back there before. Can they tell us anything about the female thief? Find out next time on Let's Play Breath of Fire 2! This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!